Hi, my name is Sam Larson. I decided to do my paper on Title IX and whether it does create gender equity or not. So as we get into a little background for Title IX, uh, it was created in 1972. Uh, most people know it as kind of the three-pronged test for a checklist for whether uh, athletic office can follow it. And the three prongs in that test are accommodation, expansion, and proportionality. So there's more information on Title IX and gender, the role that gender plays in ethics, uh, if you're interested. So I, I recommend reading more in Chapter 9 if you're interested in more of the Title IX effects. But as for gender equity, the three points that I came up with, with that it does create gender equity is that it gives women opportunity in sports that they wouldn't normally have. So uh, the girls' high school participation rate is greater than 10 times uh, what it was when uh, Title IX was passed. Uh, it has increased more than a thousand percent in that time and participation opportunities have increased every year since it has passed. Uh, the next point I had was that it's giving students the opportunity to earn a degree that they normally wouldn't have. Uh, NCAA recently published an article that said that uh, athletes, college athletes uh, graduate at an 88 percent rate. And that's higher than a non-college athlete. So it's giving these athletes uh, a way to play sports and get a good college degree at the same time. And lastly, women's sports has been a spike in viewership. So as we, as you saw last year in the uh, softball World Series at co college level, they, they average about 400,000 more um, viewers than the men's uh, playoffs as well. And in the World Cup back in 2020, I think it was, or 2018, the recent Women's World Cup, uh, Nike sold the replica jerseys and they sold out almost immediately. So women's sports has seen a spike in viewers. Uh, and then also seeing how Title IX does not create ge gender equity. Uh, men's sports still get treated better as uh, quite evident in the March Madness kind of fiasco that came out. The NCAA treats uh, men's sports a lot better. The media and general public perception of women's sports is very awful. Um, you know, as coverage on women's athletics, televised news, including Sports Center, only equals about 5% of the time. If you take out the World Cup that I mentioned earlier, it's only about 3.5% of the coverage of women's sports. So the media general public still have a very uh, negative perception on women's sports. And lastly, transgender athletes. Title IX does not have a section dedicated to transgender athletes. And as of this presentation, 18 states in America have laws prohibiting transgender athletes from participating in sports that they're not biologically, you know, they have to be either in a male or female, they can't be uh, transitioning. So Title IX does not create gender equity in that. So as we get to the end, it's kind of, uh, it's still gonna be an ongoing debate whether Title IX has worked or not. Personally, I think it has, it's giving people the opportunities directly from Title IX. And I think it'll continue to give these athletes opportunities no matter what they do and what they go on to do in the future.